What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we've got, as you know, today was the day that Samsung did their unpacked event and there's a lot of information that's come out and a lot of it is just like way too much. I mean, it's really, really intense and crazy and I've covered this at nauseum for months on end. And all year long, I usually cover leaks and rumors and news that comes out about these devices. And for the better percentage of it, a lot of it has come true. Uh, I'm just gonna go through some of the finer details, not a long video, but just some of the finer details that I found that were kind of interesting and things you might wanna know in case you weren't uh, aware of it. But before we jump into all that, I know people are gonna ask, should I upgrade? And I already answered this, so you probably heard this. Should I upgrade? Should I get the Z Fold 4? Should I get the Z Flip 4? I have the iPhone or I have a Galaxy S21 or S22 or a Z Fold 2. I would say, you know, if you have like Z Fold, Z Flip 4, uh, you know what? If you wanna try the Flip 4, try it. You have nothing to lose. Just return it if you don't like it. Same with the Fold 4, try it. You don't like it, return it. And if you take advantage of the pre-order, which I do have it linked down below, I have everything linked down below, first of all, with the Watch 5s, the Buds 2 Pro, the Flip and Fold 4 as well. So if you click on those links, I get a little kickback, help support what I do. And just try it. That's all, that's all I can say. And, and I'm more of a flip Fold 4 fan anyway, and I'll talk specifically about that. The Fold 4 is looking really, really good, at least in my eyes. I've seen some videos of people holding it, and that front display looks a lot bigger. It looks a lot more sexier. I'm really happy about that. Cameras look like they're much improved. The hinge is smaller and just better looking overall. And there's a lot. I'm just, I'm mixed, I'm stoked about it. So I want to, I want to, just want to do that. And then tomorrow morning video, I'll probably go through, maybe not all, I guess I'll go through all the devices, but I'll dive in a little bit deeper in some of the other things and what I thought about the event and all the devices as a whole. Without further ado, let's jump into today's news. So first of all, like I said, we're going to go through a bunch of stuff here. So Galaxy Z Fold 4, if you're going to get this in the burgundy, the red color, it looks like that is a little bit delayed. I can't pull up the image because their site's still kind of crappy right now but ultimately the z fold 4 burgundy is available only in 512 gigabyte model and i believe it's only available on samsung.com website so keep that in mind at least in the u.s only next up would be the one terabyte version if you want to get the one terabyte version of the galaxy z fold 4 it looks like you can only get that through samsung.com you can't get it anywhere else so if you want to get that version of it again just click my link down below i'll bring you right to where you need to go. What about everything that's new with the Galaxy Z Fold 4? Well, here you go. Ben Gis can put this nice little tweet together and it's probably more than this. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look at the, the stats, the specs about this, but ultimately saying design with the wider cover screen, slimmer bezels, Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which is gonna add more durability, less visible under display camera. Also, also that under display camera is supposed to be improved quality wise as well. New colors. Performance, you're looking at the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Camera right now is a 50 megapixel main camera, which is the same setup from the S22. 23% larger pixel sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel three times X telephoto with 30 X space zoom. And like I said, I think there's enough meat on that bone to get excited about the Z Fold 4. Our last story of the day is, Something new coming to the Z Fold 4 in terms of its software. I, I, I love this. I really, really like this. And I learned, I, I learned about it during the event, but it looks like Shane Craig caught a animation of this, of the Z Fold 4 taskbar using two finger swipe over to immediately split screen. So the big, two big things is here, in here is it's easier to multitask. So it's using some of those Android 12 L features and the taskbar at the bottom there. So you'll have this row of icons that you can use apps basically on the same place, but over to the left, obviously, or right, I guess, depending upon how you have your, your, um, your uh, buttons, your back button and all that stuff situated. But ultimately you'll have, it looks like in the middle and you can have apps in there that are easily accessible. Think about it like if you have a Mac or even a Windows, you have that taskbar at the bottom and you have easily accessible apps. Rather than having to go in the app, you have that at the bottom um, below 
where the icons are for the go back and all that, the recent apps button. I love that. I think it looks really, really good. Um, it's really streamlined looking, and I think it's gonna be a big get for uh, people that are getting either into the Z Fold 4 for the first time, that whole line, or you're, you're coming into it uh, returning, basically. It's gonna feel probably a little bit fresher. Now, it's, I can't see why not the, the, those features obviously wouldn't come to the Z Fold 2 and 3. It doesn't seem like it shouldn't. It's not like they those phones couldn't handle that taskbar. They should. Uh, it's probably just gonna be a future update in the next few months before we get it on those devices, but I'm loving it. It's one of the cool things that I, I, I like about the Z Fold 4. Obviously, the new hardware improvements, but the software improvements as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Your question of the day is what we most impressed you about today. Was it one of the new devices that they released or is it some kind of software tweak? What was it? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day. If you wanna watch our live show, uh, it's, it's on the channel, so just look through my videos. It should be one of the newer videos you can watch. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.